Hey Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear. Today's topic is just a general collective love reading, okay? So whatever comes out in love, we're going to delve into that further, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading. It may or may not resonate with you fully. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Remember that here it can play out past, present, or future. Remember to check out my playlist if you want to check out additional collective reads. And thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. It's greatly appreciated. So what popped right out is a no. Okay, the answer to your question is no. So maybe you were wondering if this love read would be about someone. Um, I see someone is definitely still in denial and divine timing is at key here, at play. Okay, when it comes toward um, a masculine energy, like your divine masculine. Okay, so this reading very well could not be about your divine masculine. Okay, you're Aries watching this. Um, remember that this masculine energy can be a male or a female, just someone in this action-oriented energy, okay? This person right now, the action that they have, although you want a fresh start, this person is still in denial over the connection, okay? It's still lessons that they have to go through, but is spirit going to block love out for you because your twin flame isn't ready? Hell no, you got free will. Here we have lessons, knowledge, understanding. Look for the lesson in this situation. So that's what I'm saying. Your twin isn't quite ready yet, okay? So in the meantime, okay, and not saying you're about to use anyone. I'm just saying you fall in love with somebody else. You fall in love with a soulmate or someone that you have um, great chemistry with. That's perfectly fine, too. You can decide to be with this person. You don't have to be with your twin flame, okay? Some of us, they're just there for spiritual lessons, okay? Destruction, tower moment, unexpected change, new opportunities. That's what I'm saying. Where one door closes, another door opens, Aries, sun, moon, or rising. What else? Mm-hmm. Conventional relationships, duty bound by social conventions. You could have recently just came out of a karmic relationship, okay? You could be in this vulnerable energy, feeling alone, but the divine is saying that they, that the divine is saying that they're with you, okay? Learn the lesson out of this situation. Keep it moving, okay? Yeah, you have blessings coming if you step out of fear bottom deck is journal write process contemplate understand your sacred journey okay it's more to this shit it's levels to this right part of the deck you need to focus on your self-worth and not settling okay some of you all could have a leo aspected in your chart or this could just be something going on with fire signs right now and their self-worth okay Let's delve deeper into this situation in love. Please and thank you, Spirit. High Priestess. So deep down inside, you know that now is not the right time for you and that twin. Let alone for you and this karmic relationship that you just came out of, okay? There was no uh, real emotion in this situation with the Nine of Cups here. But all of these cups are fucking empty. The lesson here was to identify what love is not, okay? So you can move towards a more fulfilling relationship that gives you everything that you want. See, there is a tower moment or some type of situation, a breakup, if you will, okay? This was a hard lesson to learn. That's what I'm seeing. But it changes your life here with the Eight of Swords. It puts you um, in your head about karmic relationships. Like, um, it's not really that. What it is, is you really paying attention to relationships moving forward. Okay, knowing to not settle for a karmic relationship. Settle for things that aren't really for you. See, a karmic relationship is nothing but lessons. Okay, you learn these lessons, you're going to clear your karma. So that means you don't have to go back and relearn these lessons. Once you did it, it's done. Once you get it, you're gone. Okay? You don't have to repeat that cycle. 
So you may have had a moment in time where you were in your head about karmic relationships. Okay? Just because you went through one bad situation, like with the Three of Cups, steady studying that over and over again, doesn't mean that it's going to play back out again. You learn the lesson, you don't have to relive that again. That's what I'm telling you, okay? I see you kind of dwelling in this energy. And it's moving you away from genuine relationships that are loving, that do have, that's full of emotion because you're thinking of the past that was not that. You see how you have to identify these things. What love isn't so you can open up to what love is. Don't hold back thinking in the past where this lesson was involved. It's just there to as a place marker, okay? Aries has learned uh, what love isn't, okay? So we're moving on towards what love is now. So you won't self-sabotage true love, right? Bottom deck is the queen of pentacles, all right? Moving away from situations and people that are beneath you, okay? Not settling for shit. With the seven of pentacles here, really working on yourself, working on your stability, multitasking, wearing multiple hats. For some of you all, you're, you just separated from someone you have children with. And you're like, damn, how am I going to pull this off by myself? You are. Just take that energy, repurpose it and put it into yourself because that's what I see you doing. Okay. And you're also attracting the king of pentacles, a soulmate. Someone that is like-minded, okay? This person, too, is cutting out sneaky people that aren't for them, retailoring their life, fixing things within themselves, within their life, just like you, mirroring you. That's twin flame energy for sure. What else? Let's clarify. Okay, the King of Cups, you could have been dealing with a water sign, someone arising in the past, but you knew damn well, like, look, red flags was popping up and you're just like, ah, I don't know, you know, this person is holding back, they're playing games, not telling me how they really feel. There was a third party energy here. This person was working together with someone else. That's why they, well, one of the reasons why they weren't able to give you everything that you needed out of a relationship. Okay, but that was literally the lesson to not settle. Don't be out here looking like the fool, but open up towards new beginnings. Heal your past. You do that by forgiving it, letting it go. Okay, needing strength, though, to making it through this tower moment, needing strength to remain happy. Here we have the seven of pentacles. Okay, um, having patience, giving yourself time to come out of this mental block. Okay. When it comes towards what happened in the past, karmic relationships, um, it's like a blockage moving forward. It's almost like fear, being afraid that, you know, you'll attract more of this into your life. Yeah, with the lovers making a choice here, but being more patient about who you move towards. Yeah, there's the regret. We even have the two of cups. We do have the four of wands and what wanted to show itself was the seven of cups. You're going to have options for sure, but you're going to need to make your next move, your best move, and you're going to have to be healed when making these decisions. I'm not trying to place a lot on you. I'm just trying to let you know. You want to continuously, whatever energy you put out into the universe is the energy that you're going to attract. You're coming in as a feminine energy, whether you're a male or a female, embodying the energies that you want to attract into your life consistently. You have the capabilities of being very stable, attracting abundance into your life, tranquility, peace. With the sun card here, you're going to have happiness, okay? Okay. But right now, you're studying happiness. You're studying what will make you happy. You're studying a past situation that didn't make you happy, okay? But with the King of Swords here, you're realizing that that person just maybe wasn't for you. With the burden here, just one for you. Didn't show you enough love, enough attention, all right? You're learning this in your alone time. 
Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles. Look, Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon, you got this. This is pre-Empress energy, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here. You're going to be very stable, okay? There could be a fire sign that is going to offer you something first, okay? It could be a fire sign, Sun, Moon, Horizon, for sure. It could be a Leo, heavy Leo here, okay? But that's going to be the first person that's going to come in. They're going to take charge. They're going to be very passionate with you. Okay, this very well could be a soulmate or a life partner or someone that is there to teach you love and how to welcome it in, okay? Mm-hmm. Because right now, this is where your mind is at. Betrayal, third-party energy, okay? You may need a little help coming out of that energy. Some really affected you, okay? And I mean, shit happens, right? But it's okay. Just get all that grief out now because what's going to be replaced with that is total happiness. It says, the more I attune my energy with appreciation, the more the universe will deliver. See, gratitude is the language of the universe for sure. The more you attune yourself with this energy of a gratitude, appreciation, the more the universe is going to provide that for you. It's going to match that energy. It says, I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to fear the things that happen towards you. You just got to apply that lesson. Okay, now I know what love isn't. So I know the characteristics of what love is because it's the opposite of what the fuck I've been going through, right? Bottom deck is to begin the practice of allowing I must get out of my own way. I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. Follow that intuition because it's booming right now. It says, as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power towards what I want, right? It's changing that focus, all right? You're going to be guided to do this, okay? Because this is something that you're meant to do in this lifetime is be fucking happy, learn lessons and let them fall by the wayside and be left in the past as you seize the opportunities of co-creation and manifestation. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. And to the end, peace and love.